Hi, and welcome to One Game Dad. I am the proverbial One Game Dad, Gregory Palachi. And this, well, this is yeah, my podcast about parenting, culture, and creativity. And today I am playing Far Cry 5. In particular, I am working on, well, well, I'm in the arcade editor. And I'm doing that because this was really the reason I bought Far Cry 5. Because I wanted to play with the map editor and see what I could do. But it also made sense if I do this rather than shoot things because I'm not terribly good about shooting things and talking at the same time. But uh, it's a learned skill, it's one that comes with practice and you know I'm not live streaming all the time. Okay. As you can see, we have started with a cedar forest because I wanted to start with something in a map. And, you know, my understanding of map editing is... Well, it's just like... Uh, writing a story, if you have some boundaries to start with, uh, then... The if you have some boundaries to start with, unlike this map, then you are going to be pretty good to go. You know, it, it really helps you control what you're doing. So what am I looking for? Not terrain, map details, environment, and audio. Day night, weather, no fog, backdrop, post. No, I don't want any of that. I am looking, let's see, train. Map limits. See, that's what I'm wanting. See, I... I want to reduce the limits. I don't want a massive map. Yep. <sighs> if only there was an undo. There we go. See, much better. And the idea behind setting these limits is, you know, it's like determining the field of play. You... You're much better at determining the field of play, or setting the field of play, setting, you know, what can be done, what, uh, what ultimately happens, what, uh, the world looks like is you know it's vital to games it's vital to writing it's I mean here I'm going for a long map but let's see Road. let's 
Not day night. Let's do backdrop. Alpine. Almost. That's close to what I'm going to. No, not alpine snow. Not desert. Not quite mountain. Maybe mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with. Yeah, all right, so my current plan here is to see, even this I'm not great at talking about, I'm doing I'm a little better. All right. So the idea of this is that I am creating a creating an area in Idaho known as Peekaboo. It's near Sun Valley and it's a pretty simple area which is why I wanted to use it because it just it it's something that It's an area that I remember vividly, but it's an area that I wanted to to draw out just because I thought it would make a really simple map and that it's, it's this valley with a T intersection, a train track, a store, a grain silo, and really that's it. At least that's how I remember it. And so, yeah. It's just what I wanted to do. In terms of creating this map. I just wanted something simple. I mean, it's mm, Yeah, it, it's just an area I remember from childhood, as I said, it, it's, it's picturesque, and so it just would make for a simple map because it's meant to have just Yeah, 
yeah, it's just meant to have these areas. It's relatively flat, it's relatively open, but it's meant to have a road that comes in. And yeah, and goes out. And let's see, we'll put the, yeah, we'll work it in over there. And it has a train track, I mean, it, but I figured I could add more. But this gives me a good, good chance to play with the map and see what's possible and see if I can accomplish what I want to. All right. And I'm not trying to make it an exact replica, but I am trying to make it uh, something that implies my memories. Um, maybe I'm looking working a little too wide, but we'll deal with it. All right. Let's hmm. Hmm. roads. I'm looking for roads. I think I can draw roads somewhere, but it may not be objects. It's a terrain. Uh, there we go, road. Yeah, <sighs> it's. I mean, okay, this doesn't make for a terribly interesting. So that's supposed to be one road. And then there is, let's see. It's going to be asphalt, so let's go double yellow. And all right. Two roads. Okay. Is there any? Maybe train tracks is in here. Trail. Nope. Doesn't look like it. I was hoping it was because I wanted to throw down train tracks. Maybe they're elsewhere. Yeah. So, sorry, this isn't making for a. Uh, 
terribly interesting talk right now. It's just me exploring. Uh, let's see if there are other objects. Nope. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I I like the potential of map editors. I mean, I, well, in general, I like visual arts for what you can do with storytelling and trying to trying to balance that with. what you can uh, do is always I think interesting I think it's All right, mine track it will have to be. Yeah, it's just um, what you can accomplish with Yeah, what, what you can accomplish with <clears throat> something like a map editor. is to my mind it's <sighs> it's great i mean the the attempts at storytelling are Interesting. I mean, but so is any sort of visual, visual medium. It's It just offers so much, well, I keep saying it offers so much possibility, but yeah.
it's Boy, I'm really not any better at this uh, than I am when I'm uh, in the middle of combat. Sorry. I don't know why any of you listen. Or watch, for that matter. Yeah. And this would definitely be easier on a computer. This would... Definitely uh, be more fun on a computer because I could use hotkeys and not just trying to deal with the uh, uh, insanity that is a controller. But hey, it is what it is. I wish there was a snap to function for these tracks. All right, got that. Hmm. It's, you know, creativity, creating something like this does kind of remind me of being a parent in that you want anything and everything to be possible, but you also want need to set some bounds. If only to... If only really to uh, make life easier to be consistent because consistency counts whether it's in game design whether it's in storytelling or what you're telling your kids about the world And I think that matters. I think kids are pretty good at seeing through our bullshit. I think they may know when something doesn't fit. I mean, because their entire way of learning is really it's pattern recognition. And so, why wouldn't they s see the problems with
fünf. Ja, jetzt. Oh boy. I think it's 19. That's, these holes are not what I wanted. Set height is 50. Sorry about that. That just became the most boring. This just became the most boring episode ever. And so I am going to. Yeah. Call it a day. Uh, I'll keep working on this map. I will keep. Uh, Well, I will keep doing what I can. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Sorry, it's been a really boring episode. Uh, this, I'm Gregory Palachi, and this has been One Game Dad. You can uh, find everything I do at onegamedad.com, on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at One Game Dad. The show, as always, is hosted by Third Culture Kids which can be found at thirdculturekids.net. I'll see you on the next episode.